Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. All right, so first day back on the road. It is slightly after 8 a.m. I got up. Huh? That's a plus. And I had all my stuff pretty much packed, except for like the computers and all that shit, because I'm not going to leave those in a bag festering all night. But otherwise, I got all the stuff in the vehicle. I've got my route plan. I am going to be, let's see, driving for five hours. Well, it's going to be more than that, because I'm going to have to stop at some point. But that gets me there about 45 minutes before my actual meeting. So I might actually have time to stop and pay or, you know, maybe nibble on something. So rather than waste time at a drive through in the morning and having Starbucks and all that kind of stuff, I made myself uh, my little cold brew mix that I usually drink every day. And then I bought the wrong kind of bars. I thought I was buying my usual keto peanut butter chocolate uh, like almost dessert bars, how I looked at it, because we were having them every night with tea. I ended up getting a high protein bar. They're horrible. I, I liken this to the experience of eating moistened particle board. They're horrible. And I, as soon as I opened it and pulled one out, I was like, hmm, I think I got the wrong ones. And I gave her one and I got one and I took a bite and I was like, this is horrible. Like, this is really, really bad. And she, took like another bite and she couldn't eat it. So she threw it away. I forced my way through mine, but then I was like, man, that's a that's a waste of like 20 bucks. Cause I mean, they're expensive, but I'd already thrown the receipt away. So it's not like I could take them back. And she's like, you're gonna throw those away. And I was like, I just, I can't, I can't do it. So I thought, you know what? This will be a good addition to me driving around on the road when I don't have any place to stop to eat and I'm ready to start ripping stuffing out of the seats to get something to eat to curb my hunger. Begrudgingly, I'm keeping them and I'm going to force my way through them as I go on the road. All right, so I, I'm not going to do the usual blathering uh, of I, where I go through and I talk for 25 minutes and then just delete all the footage. I'm just going to say I'm back on the road, baby, and it's a gorgeous day. I got a five to six hour drive before I even have my first meeting. Let's do it. Okay, kids, here we are. I've actually pulled into a rest stop to go pee and to walk for just a few seconds and stretch out a little bit. As you can see, it is full on fall here in North Carolina. There are a ton of leaves down, which I'm not used to. So it really doesn't get that way in Virginia Beach. It's always green, so it's kind of nice. Uh, I guess the other thing is that I am not going to be doing a lot of stopping on the way to my first meeting because I don't have that big of a window. But the nice thing is, is that when I'm coming back on Thursday, I don't have any meetings. So I'm literally just driving back, ah, just driving back to Virginia Beach so I can stop to my heart's content. And that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to hop back on the car and get back on that road. Okay, kids. So here's a like a super duper dumb monkey moment. I thought I booked my hotels for this week. I was not even aware of the fact that I never got confirmations. So I just finished my last meeting and I was getting ready to open up my email to look at the itinerary, which tells me what like the hotel address and all that shit so that I could type it in. And then I realized, wait a minute, holy shit. I didn't get the freaking itineraries. I didn't get the confirmation. I didn't even think about it. So I just called my boss and he looked it up and he was like, I don't see anything. At this point now, I can't get on the internet either because for some unknown, annoying reason, my computer won't connect to the phone. I can't find my iPad or any of that shit to use them as a hotspot. And it's always that way. The phone never ever works as a hotspot. The only time it worked was when I went into the AT&T store to say this fucking thing never works and it worked for the guy. You know how that goes. I am on my way to a Starbucks. Here comes a second rant. I'm driving right into the sun, sorry. The second rant is not that I'm driving into the sun. The second rant is that it annoys the ever-loving shit out of me when I look up a Starbucks on Waze and it sends me to a freaking Starbucks in a damn grocery store. That isn't doing me any good. I hate that it doesn't like come up and identify that easily to let me know if I'm trying to choose from three or four different places and I just choose the closest one. 
inevitably, it always sends me to a grocery store. So I just went to the friggin' grocery store and I'm like, all right, I can't walk in there with all my shit and get on the internet if they even have that capability. So now I have to pick another one off the list. So I'm heading to a second Starbucks now, hopefully that is an actual store so that I can get on the damn internet and try to book a hotel. At this point now, my boss is just waiting for me to get a hold of him so that he can immediately approve whatever I find. Life on the road, man. I told you I'd forget something, and I completely forgot that I never got confirmation for my hotels. So I'm going to have to at least book this one for now so I can get there. And then when I get to the hotel tonight, I can go through and try to book my hotel for tomorrow. This is very brutal driving into the direct sun, even though I have this shade down it's still lighting up the 10,000 bug smushes on the windshield and making it very difficult to see and here we are what am i fond of saying life on the road man oh the other thing is that i posted a picture of this setup on my facebook i had a number of people say oh yeah dude if you were doing that here you would you would get pulled over you would get arrested you would get a ticket and all that shit. and i've never had that problem before but now they made me all paranoid that all that shit was like totally visible. So I have not done any Insta360 time lapses on the windshield. My phone is going to be where it goes. I don't give a shit about that. If they pull me over, they can suck my balls because there's no way that they could give me a ticket for that when everybody has a freaking phone mounted like on their dashboard. The only thing that I did do was I moved the camera. If you, if you notice, maybe you don't notice and I'm noticing it because I'm the one that did it but I moved the camera down. So it's down like almost an entire another camera height down below. And what I did was I went to a Walmart and I bought a set of Allen wrenches or Allen keys, whatever. And I took one bar of this, of this whole thing off and then mounted the ball head to the end of that now. And then I moved the whole thing down. So now it's level with the top of the dashboard, meaning it's down below, like it's below the window length. So you shouldn't be able to see it unless you're like in a drive through window looking down in and it should be fine. Cause if I'm driving this way and a cop is sitting there, he won't be able to see the camera. I mean, he'll see my phone. Now I have been doing this for years. I've been driving this way, one setup or another. Most of the time it's on the dashboard. I've driven behind, past cops next to me looking in at me and no one's ever pulled me over so I didn't think it was going to be an issue but so many people mentioned it that I started to, to like okay maybe I should move this so I moved it I'm going to shut up now and we'll see what happens when I get to the Starbucks okay that was really strange uh that that didn't go through at all but it didn't because I just went through and I booked hotels for tonight and tomorrow night all right so now I am I think I'm only three miles away from the hotel. Yeah, three miles, 13 minutes. There's a shit ton of traffic around here though, cause I'm guessing that this is like the typical rush hour. Now I need to figure out how the frick to get out of here because it, it's just crazy. So I'm gonna do that now, get to the hotel, unpack all this shit. And, and then now I gotta find some place to go eat dinner and, and whatever. Huh. Like I said, man, life on the road. Okay, so I just finished dinner. It's 20 to 8. Now I got to walk back to the car because I had to park a little ways away. Funny because when I looked this up, people were like, oh, parking was no problem. And I pulled in here. There's not a spot to be found. I had to drive like a couple blocks away after I drove around for a while. Anywho, so dinner was like, OK. I didn't think it was that spectacular. Uh, it was just a regular burger and some mac and cheese. I did get results back for blood tests. Where the hell am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Anywho, so I got the results back from blood that I had drawn last week. My cholesterol is still high, as is my blood sugar. So basically, I have to change my diet again. And I also, they told me I need to start walking at least 30 minutes a day and eating healthy and making better choices. So since I don't want to be a clogged up fatty with diabetes, I am going to make a massive change in my diet and uh, get healthy. Yay. So 
that was today's adventure. I am beat. I have another long ass day of driving all over the place tomorrow, having many meetings. So I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna chill, which means I'll probably be up until three or four o'clock in the morning watching dumbass shows. But hey, <laughs> I guess the theme of today is life on the road, man. All right, so I'm gonna stop right now and tell you that that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.